This is the first of a series of videos where we're gonna figure out uh, which grinder fits the April Brewer the best. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with April. This time, we're gonna embark on a new venture here at April where we're gonna try to figure out or find the grinder that suits our April brewing kit the best. So for those of you that don't know, about six months back, we launched, created um, a brewing kit that we used to compete with in the World Championship last year. Now, since the product is out there on the market, we're on an endeavor to figure out which grinder actually suits it the best. So we're gonna review or test a few different grinders. This is not so much finding out good or bad stuff with the grinders, it's more how did we actually end up working with the grinder to create a coffee that we like using the April Brewer. Now, first up here is one of the latest grinders from Hario. So a ceramic coffee mill, they call it Mini Slim Plus. From what I understand, there's been some previous versions of this as well, and this is new and improved, um, according to the box, which is interesting because we now have been playing with it. And I should say, to begin with, when evaluating grinders, you also need to look at value for money, right? This is a considerably cheaper grinder than what we find on the market in general, and that should be factored in within this video, right? Now, one of the few things to consider here is that the way it works is quite similar to, for example, a Comandante version, where you're actually regulating grind size in the bottom um, using some kind of a valve here, right? Uh, so what we try to do first is to figure out, so how uniform can the grind size be? And I think we all here at April agrees on the fact that it's not very uniform. And we're not necessarily arguing that you always should have a uniform grind size. We actually believe in that a more diverse range of particle size can give you a more complex cup of coffee. However, the issue with this grinder so far has been that it's completely um, unpredictable in terms of what it actually generates. There's a few issues here where the bottom section is actually quite loose and moves. So depending on how and what you grind, you can be misfortunate and actually have basically part of the burrs being completely misaligned when you grind, which is kind of an issue. So. After grinding with this several times now, the only kind of version of it that we figured out actually works is to grind more than once. Um, so we started the initial grind setting uh, using 15 as a grind size, uh, calculating the grind size based on when uh, does the lever stop moving basically, right? So put the wheel on the finest possible without this moving, which is how you classically do on a Comandante. Now, we did that, we ground out some coffee, and what comes out is basically very large chunks of coffee, uh, together with quite a lot of small particles as well. So it's kind of the definition of an uneven particle distribution. And again, being uneven is not the biggest issue here, because as long as you're consistently uneven, then we're kind of fine with it. The challenge here is that it's quite a diverse range of particle sizes from each grinding. So if we grind the same dose multiple times, we are gonna get quite a uniform result, or quite an ununiform result every single time. And this makes brewing coffee quite difficult, right? Now, for all of these recipes, when we're testing these grinders, we're using the same recipe as we currently use in the April shop. And that's basically a classic 13 grams of coffee to 200 grams of water. We're dividing that pour into two different pours, each one 100 gram. The initial pour is 30 gram circle pour, followed by 70 gram center pour within 10 seconds. Again, this is one long continuous pour. The second pour is as a 30 seconds. At 30 seconds, we do the exact same thing here. The target brew time here is always gonna be around 240, up to three minutes uh, for each individual brew. And 
what we're planning to do here is to basically come up with a multiple ranges of, of different grinders here to try what works the best, right? So that you at home when you brew with April Brewer can figure out how to get the most out of your gear. Again, what we mentioned here, what we ended up doing with the ceramic coffee mill here, Mini Slim, is that we actually had to grind more than once, uh, quite continuously, every single time we grounded coffee. And ideally, you don't wanna have to grind more than once using your grinder, right? It takes a lot of time, it is a bit messy. I know it's a trend in competition, uh, but it's still highly questionable whether that is actually generating better results. Um, and again, the, the range of particle size is just too big, as well as the, the bottom plate of the grinder is just not consistent enough to give you a very good result. Now, is there a specific taste for this coffee? Well, as with all coffees, when you have a very range, very big range of particle size, you're gonna have quite a messy cup of coffee in the sense that you can taste quite a lot of over extraction and quite a lot of under extraction in the same cup uh, because it's such a wide range of particle size. So is this a grinder that we recommend for the April Brewing Kit? Well, if you want to put in a lot of work, if you want to grind multiple times, I say go for it. We started grinding on 15 clicks, moved over to 10 clicks. Um, and even when doing that continuously multiple times, we got quite diverse range of results. Um, so we're gonna continue to explore, trying to find the grinders that we think suits the April Brewer the best. In the meantime, if you have any recommendations on what that grinder should be, or any comments on the video we have here, perhaps you have used the Mini Slim Plus from Hario at home and have a more positive experience than we have, then we would love to hear from you as well. As always, thank you guys for watching.